This podcast is produced by the Harwood Productions Podcast Network. To learn more about the network and to find more of our shows, visit us online at www.harwoodpodcast.com. Hi, I'm Cindy Harris, and over the next two episodes, I'm going to be making a wonderfully elegant dessert, crepes filled with lemon souffle. Crepes are a really classic French dessert and actually quite simple to make. We're first going to start by making our crepe batter, and I like to use a blender for this. You could also use a food processor, but the reason I like this is because it helps get all the flour lumps out. It gives you a nice, smooth batter. So in your blender, we're going to start by putting in two eggs, three quarters of a cup of milk. I'm using a 2% milk and a tablespoon of brandy. Now you could also substitute in a teaspoon of vanilla if you would like. I'm going to put the lid on my blender and I'm just going to blend this just till the eggs and the milk combine. Now I'm going to turn the blender off and I'm going to add one half cup of flour plus an additional one tablespoon, one tablespoon of sugar, a tablespoon of melted butter, and just a pinch of salt. Then I'm going to blend this until it is nice and smooth. Now that our batter is made, it's really important that we let it rest. Um, In the flour are these things called gluten. And when we're making bread and certain types of batters, it's important that we let those glutens relax. And to make really beautiful crepes, we need to let that happen. So I'm going to let this batter sit on my counter for 40 minutes. Now that our batter has rested, it's time to make our crepes. So let me show you how I do it. Uh, Before I go over to the stove, I like to get all of my gear ready. So here's what I do. I start with an eight to 10 inch non-stick skillet. I've taken a couple of tablespoons of butter and melted it in the microwave. And I've got just a little piece of paper towel that I'm going to use with the butter. I also need a quarter of a cup measuring cup, a plate, and some kind of spatula or turner. This is actually a crepe turner, uh, but you could easily use a spatula. Now, over at the stove, I'm going to take my uh, pan, put it on medium heat, and then I'm going to take my paper towel. I'm just going to dip it in that butter, and I'm just going to rub that onto the surface of the pan. So we don't want a lot of butter, but we do just want a thin coating. Now with a spatula, I'm just gonna give my batter a little stir. Then I'm gonna measure out one quarter cup of the batter. I'm gonna pour that right in the center of my pan. And then I'm just gonna swirl the pan so that the batter totally coats the bottom, just like that. And then I'm gonna put my timer on for about two minutes. Now after two minutes, I'm gonna take my spatula, just kind of run it along the edges like this to kind of loosen it up. And then I'm going to put the spatula underneath it. I'm gonna grab it with my hands and flip it over and we should have that nice lacy look on top. And I'm gonna let this cook just for about 20 seconds. And then I'll lift it out of the pan and onto my plate, which I have right here. Then I'm gonna repeat the whole process. I'm gonna take my little paper towel with that little bit of butter on it, just run it around the pan Pour in a quarter of a cup of batter right in the center. Swirl that around. And let that cook. Now, if you start to see my 
crepe has been in here about 30 seconds. I see it starting to brown quite a bit. I'm going to turn my heat down to like a medium low because I don't want this to cook too fast. And then I'm going to run my spatula around the edges and flip it over and you can see they're really forgiving. You can really move them around quite a bit. So you don't need to be afraid and then just let this cook for about 20 seconds. One of the things I wanted to show you is um, once you get the hang of making crepes, you can start to see when the edges start to brown like this that you pretty much know that the underneath part is also going to be a nice brown color. So you don't really have to use your timer quite so much once you get the hang of it. Now that we've finished making our crepes, I wanted to talk about them just for a minute. You'll find that these are a really forgiving thing to work with, so you don't need to be afraid of them. The other thing that's great is once these cool down, I can just wrap this with plastic or foil and put it in the refrigerator and then fill them at any point in time. The other thing that's great about crepes is you can freeze them, but if you are going to freeze them, here's what I'd do. I would take a piece of parchment or wax paper and lay them in between the crepes. That way when they defrost, the moisture doesn't make them stick together. Now at this point, I'm going to let these crepes cool down until I'm ready to make my lemon souffle. Now in our next episode, I'm going to be making the lemon souffle that's going to fill these crepes. But if in the meantime you want to get the recipe for these, just go to our website and go to the Sweet World show notes and I'll have the recipe there for you. And as always, if you have any questions, please send me an email. I'll see you next time.